Hi, Joyce. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. I've seen you at a couple of funerals. Well, you have to be at those. Yeah, well, you look good. Thank you. You look like hard times. Yeah, well, not too bad. You know, I've been watching those two over there. You think they'll do any better than we did? We were never that giddy. Oh, I think we were. I know you were. I don't think I was. Hey, I, I didn't mean anything. I, I wasn't giddy. Well, everybody's giddy when it starts. Look, can we just get on with this? Oh, sure. Sure, I'm sorry. I wasn't giddy. That's it, the last one. Thanks. There's even a little bonus. Thanks. Well, you know, I really thought I'd feel lighter. No more child support. But to tell you the truth, it just feels lousy mostly. You missed her party. Yeah, I know. You don't even know your own daughter anymore. I'm sorry. I, well, I really am. Well, tell her. It works hard. 60 hours a week, probably getting laid off. The whole division. They say, like you say, hard times. Robert, those are just excuses. You don't know your own daughter. She starts a in the fall. UT Austin. She's still studying math? She's an artist, Robert. Look, what are we doing here? I mean, you could have nailed this. I don't know. What are we doing here? Robert, look, is there something that you'd want to say to me? Because I, I really have to be going. Thanks for the money. Joyce, go to dinner with me sometime. Excuse me? It, it wouldn't have to be a big deal. Go to dinner with you. Yeah, why not? Dinner? I, are you asking me out? No, I mean, I Why? Why what? Why, do you have any idea how hard it is for me to be here? I just thought that we might... Uh, you just thought what, Robert? That we might go out and uh, have a drink for old time's sake? I'm trying to change some things. Let me ask you a question, Robert. What happened to your second wife, Katie or Carol? Or... Christy. I don't care what her name is. What, why didn't she stick around? Look, nothing happened there, Joyce. She just... I figured I was here to hear about the third one. Is that what you're trying to tell me, Robert? That you want another wife? And you have the audacity to believe she's going to be me? I've just been thinking about things and Joyce... You left me. Joyce, it was nine years ago. You left me. I, I know I should be over it. I mean, I watch Dr. Phil and Oprah and every gorgeous, famous person in the world says I should be over it, but I'm not. Yes, I am. You got married, and I died. I did the report cards alone. I did soccer alone. I did her boyfriends alone. I, I did the night she came home drunk alone. You left me. A man can change, can he? Can he? Well, we can see. Maybe find out. One dinner, please. No. Why not? What will it hurt? I just can't. Look, there's a great little Italian place about halfway between us, and, and next no, Robert, week... Robert, I'm getting married. I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. That's great. Uh, congratulations. Bad timing on my part. Who is he? Uh, just a guy. A dentist. Oh, good. Good. Uh, Robert. I, I really have to be going. Yeah, okay. Well. Hey, hey, look who it is. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, Amy, come on over. Come up here. Hey, how have you been? Mom's getting married. Yeah, I heard. A dentist! Well, what a savings on things, right? Crowns, root canals. Missed you at my party. 18 now. I know. Grown up. I'm sorry, sweetheart. You know, th th thanks for the money over the years. Bought with some beer with it. Amy, don't do this. I'm sorry. I just have a habit, you know, of telling you like this. Mom's getting married. Uh, but look, Robert, she's just angry. Look, I, I don't blame her. It, it's fine. But I'll just leave. It'd be best. Well, I, I guess so. I'm sorry about dinner.
Yeah. Maybe the next life. Joyce. Congratulations, really. Be happy, okay? I did this? That's so pathetic! When's the wedding, Mom? Getting married? You lied! Oh, what did you lie? What are you doing? I don't know. Sure. You're Thank you.